So in my last video, I promised that I'm going to be making a video on the recommended textbooks that you can use to prepare for your jam and have a very good result. So if you are new here, I'm AY and if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. I'm a second year medical student of Lautech. Okay, so basically, as far as jam is concerned, for medical people, you are going to be writing physics, chemistry, biology and use of English and I'm going to be mentioning the necessary textbooks so for physics, new school physics is very very important if you are not reading any textbook at all, you must read new school physics so another textbook that is very very important for you to study for your jam is Lamlard Physics so Lamlard Physics is just like a summary as well with questions so it has combination of past questions and the like so you do well to um, do well to get it if you are preparing for jam Another one is all inclusive physics. All inclusive physics is very, very important. It's very strict. The friction in all, all inclusive physics can help you to understand the concept of friction very well. Another text physics textbook that is important for you to, to make use of when preparing for jam is senior secondary school physics, OKK physics, or today's physics. So these textbooks that I like that are very, very important. And if you study them very well, like you study them and understand each concept, you have the tendency of scoring very high in your physics so the please and please i'm begging you i'm begging you don't go and start reading a level and say you want to prepare for jam you are preparing for jam there are many people that make this mistake and it was it was too late for them to come back because they've written the exam and they've seen the score so don't just read unnecessary stuff or read necessary stuff that is crucial for you to pass your exam you might just know simple things but those simple things they are matter they matter and they are going to help you to ace jam unlike someone that is just reading a level from concept so please and please so secondly for chemistry as i mentioned for physics new school chemistry is also very very important so if you are preparing for jam do well to get new school chemistry as well as understanding chemistry so you can just get one as i'm, I'm listing them because they are important and I'm, I'm listing them in order of their relevance so that's why i started with new school chemistry so new school chemistry lamb lad chemistry as well is also very very important just as i said for lamb lad physics it's a summary of the concept like it's not much of summary but summary with important points that you need to read for your ssc and your utme exam with questions so do well to get it if you are preparing for jam if you can get it studied it's going to go a long way and to help you to ace the jam exam so moving on to biology, it's very very important that you have modern biology if you are preparing for jam. I know most people study essential. I'm not saying essential is not good, but I feel it's more important and necessary for you to study modern biology because based on my experience, I noticed that jam makes use of modern to set questions. Even in that 2021, I can remember when I wrote my second jam that there are some there are some questions that are line by line by line so because then i was able to devote my time to study very well so i know if a question is coming from a particular line no, then it really really helps me so you can get modern biology but if you have essential to essential too it's also very very good another one is explicit biology explicit biology is also necessary so it's more or less like lamlad lamlad we also have lamlad biology but i would, I would prefer you get explicit over lamlad biology so explicit ask questions with explanation as well and it asks questions on each concept it's just like a remix Re moving to use of english all of all textbooks for english that everybody has been reading and it has helped a whole lot of people is a feasible teacher so if you are preparing for jam and you've not gotten i think everybody is using is writing english so if you are preparing for jam and you've not gotten a feasible teacher teacher either the pdf or the um or the hard copy i think you are not ready for the exam or you are not ready to pass the english very well or you have other means of passing it so it's not necessarily you reading it but it's advisable so for you to take note of all the concord all the necessary things so invisible teacher is the best another one is a to send in english you get it to send it's also going to help you a lot but i'm talking in order of relevance so many people have used invisible teacher and they testified to it but both of them are basically the same thing i think yeah and they are made by the same author so that's the funniest thing about it a1 in english too but before that of on the we have fundamentals of english language so fundamentals of english language is also necessary i've forgotten the name of the author so any one of them that you get is going to help you to score very well in your use, um, use of english in champ so i believe 
Okay, talking about past question, let me quickly talk about them. So past question are divided into okay, let me just say three now presently. So we have the general past questions that are questions by year by year, and we have the ones that are combined. They are year by year and they are combined. Okay, we have um single past question like use of English, physics, chemistry, biology. Then we have the one that combines all of them together, and we now have the one that pick it individually it's singular but the questions they are based on topics so all topics i mean all questions on a particular topic like let's take chemistry electrolysis for example so all the questions on the electrolysis will be written out like all the years that they've asked them so that's remix some rates and it's very very necessary if you can get it either the soft copy so after reading each concept maybe a particular topic then you go back to the past question your remix i make use of it and it helped me a lot so i solved a, a lot of past questions before i see my jump exam and it paid because if you read and you've not asked answer question on that particular concept then you've not done anything so the question is going to help you to know how much you read this thing it's not just that i just read it and just dump it and while solving past question i encourage you to write the things that like if you solve past question now you got 20 over 50 i'm just saying 20 over 50 maybe for the 1990s or 20 over 40 for the present one just make sure that the corrections every aspect that you miss you write them out then you go and read on them again so that if you see that particular question again you will not make mistake on them so it's very necessary for you to start with topic by topic then carry the general past question so if you answer if you've answered questions on electrolysis you've answered question on um atomicity atomic theory and everything all of that aspect so it will be very easy for you when now answering question on the combined that past question that will bring all the topics together because you understand each concept so that's just it by the way if you are still watching to this point thank you please do also like this video drop a comment and share see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe it's necessary bye